They were just doing what kids should do. They were having fun with their friends and enjoying the celebration of the end of a long year. So one minute, it just happened. Painful moments for neighbors reacting to the tragic death of a Viewmont High School student who died when a rock pillar collapsed on her. Police say it was just an accident, but it's impacting the entire community. Daniel Woodruff live for us in West Bountiful tonight with the very latest. Daniel. People here at Viewmont High and beyond in this community are mourning the sudden death of this young girl, which happened at what should have been a very happy time. This is the home in West Bountiful where 16-year-old Madeline Morley and her friends were celebrating the end of the school year. They were sitting on a hammock, police say, that was attached to a rock pillar. That pillar collapsed. Madeline was critically hurt and later died. It's just the unimaginable, something that you hope will never happen. Holly Hyde lives next door. It's been very hard for our neighborhood, very hard for this family that we love so much. She has children the same age as Madeline. It's hard, I think, for any kid that age to even be able to comprehend or process an experience like this. And so they're just very mournful and just the fragility of life is, is a difficult thing when you're 16. This is a very tragic accident. West Bountiful Police Chief Brandon Erickson helped respond yesterday when the pillar collapsed. This is a tough one to deal with. It's a very large impact on everybody involved. Including first responders, dispatchers, and everyone who was there. Friends were witnesses to everything that happened. Um, they acted as first responders before we got there. Um, and you can imagine how that would be for, for kids of that age, having to process something like that. Now, Madeline's family did give me a statement today saying, quote, we are all saddened by the sudden loss of our sweet Madeline, a kind, caring, and bright young woman who touched countless lives. We are grateful for the outpouring of love and support from our family, friends, school, and community. As we all grieve in our own ways, let us all act as Madeline would by thinking of others first and being a friend to all. She and her friends involved in this are all students here at Viewmont High School. Police say that one of the teens, besides Madeline, had minor injuries. The others were not physically hurt. Live, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.